Now, there are up to 300,000 child sex slaves in the United States, according to a recent human rights report. And with that figure growing all the time, Washington is accused of hypocrisy and failing to protect the young victims of sex trafficking. Artis Gaine Chichikan has this story. The U.S. State Department regularly puts out reports on how horrific human trafficking is in other countries. But right under the government's very nose in Washington, dozens of girls and boys are sold. Just blocks away from Capitol Hill, we're on the street that's known as a hub for lobbyists and lawyers in Washington. That's by day. At night, this is where scores of prostitutes flock to get picked up. And children, average age 13, are also being trafficked here to Washington and sold. The FBI estimates that each year, more than 100,000 underage American girls are exploited for commercial sex in the United States. But the usual treatment the children get when arrested is either jail time or probation. In the U.S., prostitution laws do not exempt minors from prosecution. The Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention reported 1,600 juveniles were arrested for prostitution within just one year. But lawyers say in the U.S. the paradox of the system is that the children are prosecuted for crimes for which they cannot legally give consent. We say that this child is a victim and yet we send her to jail. Somewhere along the line there's something wrong with that and we need to be taking a look at ourselves and a look at the fact that we have, we have made detention and we have made law enforcement and the criminal justice system and the juvenile justice system a default setting for what happens to these kids. We want to make sure that these children are treated as victims. But treating the victims and providing for their recovery requires funding. Unfortunately, there isn't federal money for U.S. victims of trafficking yet. Tina Front works with a nonprofit group in Washington which helps the children to get their lives back, providing housing and medical treatment. She herself was trafficked at the age of 13. Tina says it's easier for the government to label the children as prostitutes, charge them and send them to detention centers rather than fund shelters and invest in their future. There's not enough housing for sex traffic victims at all. Around the country, there's 100,000, about 80 beds, which includes mine. That's it in the U.S. And so what they're saying is, to, for their safety, we will arrest them and put them in jail after the, till the case is done for their safety, but they don't get any services and we charge the victim. Almost all of the victims of child trafficking remember being constantly raped and abused both by pimps and clients. Many of the young people that we serve have been incarcerated and charged as an adult under the age of 16. And so they have this lengthy 15, 20, 30, 40 arrests, um, both as a juvenile and as an adult, um, for prostitution. And so when they go to apply for public housing, they're not eligible for that. When they go to do certain employment, that pops up in their background check. These children's past is already scarred as it is, and the nonprofit organizations that help victims of sex trafficking say by prosecuting the children, by not investing in their recovery, it is the government that is scarring their future. I'm Gainich Chekian reporting from Washington, RT.